Hello and welcome to InfoSync World. Today I have with me the Samsung Infuse 4G for AT&T. Now this is actually an exciting phone. I'm actually jumping out of my pants right now. You can't see it. The Infuse 4G has a giant billboard sized 4.5 inch Super AMO LED screen. And uh, the cap used to be 4.3, but now we're at 4.5. It's huge, it's a poster. It's kind of bridging the gap between a tablet and a phone. Samsung's Super AMO LED Plus screen conserves battery life and it also provides a brighter display that is easier to view in brightly lit areas. This is one of the best screens on the market. Another thing that Samsung did with the Infuse 4G was put it on a diet. It's one of the thinnest phones in AT&T's fleet next to the iPhone 4. When you compare the thinnest section of the phone, it's actually slightly thinner than the iPhone, though it does have a little junk in the trunk at the bottom of the body. But the phone also has some mad bling styly, yo. It has gunmetal chrome trim along the edges, and it also has this textured gray back panel, which kind of just sets it apart from the a monotonous, boring sea of Android phones that's out there. They all look the same. In back, we have an 8 megapixel shooter with LED flash, and in front, a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera for video chat, which is becoming the standard resolution. This phone also has a 1750 milliamp battery. Its battery life blew us away, we'll just tell you right now. Uh, this is one of the best battery lives on a phone. We've had this thing going for four days now. We played some games, we did some internet browsing, and uh, we took a bunch of pictures and videos. It is still at 62%. Call quality on the Infuse 4G was good, and image quality in bright light was fantastic. Some of the best images you can find on a phone in bright light. The camera's autofocus performed extremely well in video mode and still mode but we would like an updated camera interface. It's kind of the same old thing on every Samsung phone. All the Galaxy S phones, they all look the same. But we'd like the ability to toggle the video light on and off while recording videos and the ability to touch focus while we're recording. Before we get into the tour, I had a few gripes with this phone. Number one, it doesn't have a kickstand and that was probably to conserve its thinness. Um, but a kickstand would have been nice, especially with this billboard screen. The second thing was that this phone ships with a two gigabyte micro SD card, and that is next to nothing in this day and age. Uh, we would expect a minimum of a 16 gigabyte card. The Infuse 4G also runs Android 2.2, and we've already seen that before, but the bonus is that we get Flash 10.3 support, so we get faster action. And speaking of quick, we have a 1.2 gigahertz processor in this phone. It really never skipped a beat. It loaded web pages great. Um, it's one of the quickest, lightest, thinnest, biggest screen phones on the market. We're gonna walk you through it right now. Day in the life of the Samsung Infuse 4G. Swipe to unlock. Drop down menu. Classic Android. Menu, home, back and search. We have seven home screens here. Tap, hold to add a widget shortcut folder or wallpaper. And uh, we also have an HTC Sense-like leap experience here. Um, and it kind of makes it easier to find whichever home screen we want. Here we are in the browser, extremely quick. This is the response every phone should have. It's just great. Also flash 10.3. So, Watch how quickly this thing loads and plays. It's just instant. I mean, that is spot on. There's no lag, there's no audio sync that's off. And now we're testing the 3D capabilities of the Infuse 4G. Beautiful graphics, beautiful frame rate. Gaming will be no problem with this bad boy. And of course we have the Android market taking us to where we need to go for multimedia, but there's also Samsung's Media Hub for TV and movies, and the first 500,000 infused buyers 
will get a $25 voucher for the Media Hub store. So that is a good thing. Some pretty good incentive. It's also worth noting that Angry Birds comes preloaded on the Samsung Infused 4G and there's a special golden egg level that if you complete, you can register to win Samsung prizes. In addition to the QWERTY, we also have this handwriting tool. And it's a little bit slower, but it actually works. We preferred the QWERTY though. And quick office here, big bonus for working on Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF documents. So here's our InfoSync diagnosis with the Samsung Infuse 4G. If you're holding out for that edge-to-edge -edge screen iPhone, but can't wait any longer, don't really have a preference between Apple and Android, then the Infuse 4G is a solid choice. It has one of the best screens on the market. It's thin, it's fast, and it has a totally kick-ass battery life. We only had a few complaints and they were minor with this phone, no kickstand and we wanted more memory with the micro SD card, but that was about it. We haven't come across a smartphone that has hit a home run in this way in quite some time. The Samsung Infuse 4G for AT&T is a formidable slugger. For the entire Samsung Infuse 4G review, go to infosyncworld.com. Until next time, I'm Mike Perlman.